Butler is a mixed media artist, designer, and instructor for the creative industries. She works with a variety of mediums and enjoys sharing her creativity through teaching. Today, Anne is here to show you how to make a real cool bag book. And she has a kit available in the Cool to Craft Marketplace with the supplies that you would need to create today's project. I'm delighted to welcome Ann Butler. Hi, Ann. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, everyone. Yes, today I'm going to show you how to make a bag book. It's something that has been around. I think I've been teaching bag books for about eight years. So they've been around for a while, but there's so many things you can do with them. And this is a sample of one of them. This is um, a bag book using three bags and scrapbooking paper. But what makes these cool is the bags open and you have little pockets in which to put items inside there. So you can scrapbook your pictures or a trip. Um, in one of these. So I'm going to ask Tiffany to put the picture of that up and I will put my screen down and get ready and show you the steps. Okay, um, now to get started you need bags and you can use a variety of bags. There's brown lunch bags, there's white lunch bags, there are colored lunch bags, although they're harder to find. Uh, today I'm going to demo with this mauve color lunch bag. And it's um, good to start with an odd number. I usually use three. I have used as many as five and seven. But what you do is you take your bag, and it doesn't matter if you fold toward the, you know, bags have a little circle, a lot of them have, um, it doesn't matter if you fold it that way or if you fold your flap in. You just take and you fold your bag in half, and you do this to all three of them. and you want to make sure you get your sides even so that your book is even on the edges. And after you have your bags folded, you're going to sandwich them together and you're going to do it so that it is opposite. So this one has the opening of the bag you're going to then put the opening on the other side so it is just opposite of each other. And you stack them. Now, there's a variety of ways you can keep these together. You can use a sewing machine, as I did in this one. And if you can see, it's white stitching on white. I'm not sure if you can see it but you can stitch along that fold and that keeps them together and you really don't have to do anything else to the side. Otherwise, you can take and fold them and use a punch and punch holes in it. And then you can use ring binders to hold it together or you can tie ribbon to hold it together. You can also sew your edge and then put holes in it to add ring binders and fibers to give it some more detail. That's totally up to you. Then I'm going to show you a, a few samples of bag books. I am going to be teaching this class at Craft Tech University on July 14th. So Linda's going to have that information up on the site later. This is a bag book where I only punched the edges and put fibers into it. And this one has five, five bags instead of the three. But what you do for a bag book is you take your scrapbook paper, you can use your scraps and 
cover the book to give it the look you want. And I actually even used the tiniest of scraps to give it some decorative looks. And in this, you would put pictures and journal. And inside the pockets here, you can put tags. Or if you use it for a trip, you can put your little mementos in there. But they're fun to give as gifts. And you can even make little pockets. But this is a good way to use up a lot of your extra scrapbooking supplies that you have that you have used, but you just have scraps left over. So this is one style. This is one where the seam was sewn, and there's a bee. So this, this one is actually for a gift. This is for a baby. And so in here, I put extra numbers and letters, stickers, so that they could use it throughout the book. And then there's little tags in here saying it's a boy. So there's a clear pocket here so they can put pictures in here. And with the flap of the pocket, you can make, with the flap from the bag, you can make little pockets. So there's a variety of things you can do with bag books. They're just fun. Now on this Disney one, this one is one, after I have done several years of bag books, I thought to make it a little bit more sturdy, to add cardstock all the way around to the outside of the book. So I have some cut here. This is the size of the bag. And you wrap it around your, your bag. And you can punch your holes so that it gives it a little bit more sturdiness. And the decorative paper, you can add pictures to it. You can do anything you want. It's up to your imagination. But also inside here, you can add more cardstock. Like in this book, I added cardstock and I added decorative paper. And then here is where you would put pictures of this would be for a family vacation. Like Linda just went to Disney World, I think, maybe. So um, she was in Florida. So this is what the inside of your book can look like. This all came from, the inspiration for this was from a sheet of just scrapbooking paper. It had Mickey on there, and I cut it in half to use. And then I used the rest of the paper throughout the book. And then I had some Minnie Mouse paper that um, had the polka dots on it. But you just add little ribbons, and there's so much you can do to this. Um, I put these just square pieces of cardstock in here to journal on or to add photos. So the paper clips are here also, so you can put things in here and take them out. And I also added paper inside so that this is something that you can write on or add pictures to. So doing a bag book, they're fast, they're easy. I have a bunch more to show you. And I will turn it back to Tiffany and put the camera up to see if you have any questions.